All this week, we've been hearing from the people involved in the three special publications, the three special papers marking the 125th anniversary of GSA. And we headed over to the Sunday special session to talk to one of the authors. I've been lecturing on energy around the world for decades. So GSA approached me and asked me if I'd write a paper on energy for the big volume. I authored the paper um, and then grabbed uh, Harry Lynch, who's the director and co-producer of the film Switch, and we had been to lots of global locations together. So that's how it all came together. And we look at global energy and demand, both, and then try to look at the role of geosciences in that space. And where do, where do geosciences impact all the various supply and demand issues, and environmental, water, economics. When you start playing it out, geosciences plays very big in that interplay between the energy, the environment, and the economy. So it's right across the space. If you start in the subsurface, so extractive industries, coal, oil, gas, uranium, other minerals and things, of course, exploration, characterization, um, uh, safe extraction, and these include seismology and, and stratigraphy and structural geology and all the classical disciplines. Um, as you come up to the surface above ground, so to speak, there's the issues of using water, environmental impacts, uh, how you can do uh, extractive things better, mining, for example, um, and then deploying various kinds of, of renewable energies, solar panels, wind turbines. These involve siting and, 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 and geomorphology and all the kinds of, of interplay of what goes on at the surface. So again, on the supply side, it's, it's pervasive. Um, demand side is interesting too. You know, you, you really have to start to think about resources and, and how long they last, and, but factor in a much more rigorous economic and, and uh, technological reality than often happens when people pe uh, predict things that rise and fall. They're really not doing a good job of predicting the evolution of technology, which is sometimes hard to understand. All we know is that it does always evolve. Geologists and geoscientists are very good problem solvers. You know, we deal with limited amounts of data and have to extrapolate and interpolate a lot. And so that makes us pretty qualified for some of these problems that, that don't have as much information as you wish they did. I think if people are really interested, the film called Switch, uh, we filmed in 11 countries over two years, some of the top experts in the world, including today's Secretary of Energy. He wasn't then, but he is now, he is in the film and many others and many the best sites in the world for all the forms of energy. You can dive into a video-based space on the Switch Energy Project website, and then we have a very active Facebook page, lots of people, and we're continuing to put up articles of interest. Again, on all sides, not, not picking winners or choosing sides, but just trying to let people see what's all out there.